Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notification button below so that you never miss fresh videos and tutorials you might be interested in. Many thanks to our current Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making this video possible, and we'd also greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us as well. So please check the link in the description and click the join button below for more details. My name is Sava, and today we'll investigate how to use eViews. We'll cover some basic fundamentals, such as how to easily export data from Excel into eViews using just one click of your mouse. So without further ado, let's assume that we have got some uh, pre-processed data in Excel that we would like to export into eViews. Here we have got uh, a relatively simple data set. We've got five years worth of daily returns on Tesla, so 1,258 observations, uh, as well as the returns of crude oil and S&P 500. So the idea is that we want to test how uh, does the return of Tesla respond to market risk and the risk associated with commodity markets. Again, the easiest way to export uh, a relatively simple uh, data set with uh, little to no missing values and quite simplistic structure, so that's a basic time series, into eViews would be as follows. Obviously, if you're open eViews, and by the way, we're using the student version here, it's free to use as long as you're a student, and the only limitations is that it only allows to use up to uh, 1,500 uh, data points and does not allow you to copy and paste uh, text directly from uh, tables or figures in eViews to other applications. Apart from that, it is as good as they go. Uh, the baseline way of exporting uh, any sort of a file to eViews would be to go file, open foreign data's work file that would allow you to convert Excel files into eViews files, and you just need to locate it in your folders. However, there is an even faster way that works best when your data structure is simple and you've got little to no missing values. So we can go new work file, creating a new work file. We uh, select unstructured, undated, and for our observations, we just select the number of observations we've got. And we know that we've got 1258, we referred to it previously. Then we click OK, and it creates an empty uh, eViews work file. Now we can simply copy the entirety of our Excel data set, right click in the eViews work file and paste. And that allows us to immediately uh, retrieve all the data we need and paste it to eViews. Uh, here, uh, I just want to uh, discuss a little bit uh, in terms of the functionality of this uh, eViews exporter. It would work exactly the same way if you export the file using its path in your folders. Uh, it tries to automatically recognize how many header lines you've got. Most of the time you'll have one, but if uh, you have got an unconventional uh, header structure, you might want to look at it uh, further. Then make sure that all of your numerical variables are correctly recognized as numbers. Here we see that it's indeed the case. Uh, a common warning would be if you are exporting an Excel file or a CSV file, please make sure that all numerical variables are numbers. They are not uh, in currency units or they're not in percentages. If you sometimes is finicky with this regard. Here we have got uh, all returns in percentages. So no percentage signs, uh, they are numbers. So that works well with the eViews uh, data importer. So we can go next and see what other specifications we can um, change and customize. Uh, the next customization is if you've got uh, NA values denoted as some uh, value in your data set, you can customize it here. The default uh, eViews um, representation is hash and slash A. Uh, again, because we haven't got any NA values here, eViews just sticks with this default version. And then we can finish our um, data export. Uh, we can link uh, our data to external sources so that every single time the data is updated, uh, the eViews work file will also be updated. Um, this is most commonly not needed and it also slows down the functioning of the uh, eViews work file by uh, quite a bit. So I'll, most of the time I'll just press no and do not link my eViews work file to my original Excel file, for example. And now we can see that we've got uh, our three variables, Tesla, S&P 500 and oil, ready to work with. If we double click on a variable, for example, Tesla, we'll see its representation. We'll have the full time series, full 1258 observations. 
But what we are most interested in is how to run a regression using eViews. As for now, please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. In the comments below, I'm going to see any further suggestions for videos you would like me to record. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and consider supports on Patreon. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.